Hello people, welcome back to my channel and welcome to the course Data Science with R. So in this course, we'll first begin with an introduction to statistical programming using R language. Now R is basically used for data engineering and data analysis purpose. So we'll learn how to write a basic R program. We'll write a small code snippet in order to understand how an R program is written. We'll also learn about what is an R Studio. So R Studio is a software development platform where we mostly use to write R programs to create different plots, generate different analysis and draw some insights out of it. Next, we'll learn about the commonly used packages and libraries that are mostly used in the R community in order to create different plots for analysis and statistical purpose and so on. Then we'll look into what is an R markdown file that is an .rmd file. So rmd file is a very powerful file in order to create some mind-blowing web applications, to create flexible dashboards for storytelling, to create posters, to create presentation slides, to generate PDFs and so on. At the end, we'll also implement an end-to-end -end data science project where we'll generate different plots for our analysis purpose. I hope to see you in the course. Uh, first things first. So first, uh, I'll walk you through three different websites uh, from where you can uh, download your R Studio, and there are other components as well. So first is this uh, CRAN website that is the comprehensive R archive network. So since I'm uh, using a Mac uh, book, so like I have this download for Mac OS. You might be using for Windows or if you are on a Linux like Debian distribution, so you can use that. So I have already installed uh, in my system, so it's already there. So if you want, uh, you can uh, download for Windows, uh, like you have to create one particular uh, folder and inside that you have to uh, install this and just uh, run and it's an MSI file that is an installer, so it will get automatically installed in your system. So there is nothing to worry about that. Uh, then the second thing is like uh, the download the R Studio IDE. Now this is the R Studio desktop. Now this is the free version that I am also using. So there are other uh, versions of it like the desktop pro and R Studio server, R Studio workbench like those are priced and some of them are free as well. So it gives you different other features as you can see here. So since for me uh, I have installed R so this is where you first install R and once you have installed R second you have to download the R studio setup so this is the desktop uh, version so now since I have Mac it is automatically detecting from my system that it has detected Mac so for you it might be Windows or for other users it might be Linux as well so you have to install this accordingly and there is one more tool that is called as the R tools. Now R tools we don't majorly use uh, for analysis purpose but this is a tool chain for building R packages and libraries. Now say suppose you are well versed with R and you have created a new algorithm that you want to implement like uh, some new contribution from your side as an open source contributor something like that so in that case if you want to create a new functionality for some particular library or existing library or create some new uh, library that is an R library from scratch you can make use of this uh, R tools so that is majorly used for that purpose so but for uh, following my uh, videos and code along sessions you just need this R and this R studio so since I already have this thing so it looks something like this so uh, the thing is uh, so this is the console so in this uh, you will see different uh, tabs so this is first tab that is the console tab and this is a terminal tab where this is a normal command line where you can type certain commands for execution but you need not uh, do that this is a render tab now this render tab is where your uh, code gets executed and if you see some kind of errors or to trace some logs or things like that you can make use of this now like if uh, everything is uh, compiled successfully then you can see like output created something I was running before so you can get see this kind of logs here 
and these are the different jobs that are there currently running so since i have not kept any jobs in pipeline it's empty so this is uh, the one thing that when you first open this r studio you will get to see this uh, from here you can see a plus icon uh, this thing so here you can see different options so one is an r script then there is r notebook r markdown then shiny web app then plumber api text file c++ python script sql stan file d3 r swave r html r documentation like we'll be mostly uh, using r script and r markdown for this purpose uh, so just go ahead and uh, click this so you can see this uh, terminal tab just went down and you can see that there is a code editor that is opened here where you can write your uh, r codes and so on now talking about this side so here is where your environment variable gets created say for instance if i write something like say a stand so you can see uh, like how we do variable creation now in python you usually write like x is equal to 10 or like you don't need much of the uh, declarations like in java programming like how you write int x or double or float like that so in python or r it's mostly the same uh, now in r how you assign variable is like so you have something on the left hand side and something on the right hand side so a is a variable so a gets a value of 10 and you then assign like this an arrow a uh, less than and minus symbol the other way that you can also write as like normal if you write like this you can also do in this way so this is variable initialization like how you instantiate different variables in r so both techniques are the same so usually people go with this first notation where you want to create some uh, variables using r so uh, whatever you do here or the processing of the things that you write in this uh, code part that you can see here so here you can see the list of variables and these are global variables like no, now you can change uh, the scope of this variable to like a hidden private that will cover in the upcoming videos so this is just a simple example like to show what things are where and where you should look for if you have some issues or if something is not seen or for that purpose so uh, now talking about this part uh, i'll just expand a little bit so now here you can see environment that is a first step so where different environment variables related to your program are created in this section then you have the history tab so what all steps that you have done so far in the code editor part you can see those things here connections now connections means like you can create some database connections like spark or apache spark like odbc connections like in order to retrieve from the database and execute the query like those are mainly used for data engineering purposes like data manipulation you write certain commands and so and stuff so it's based on uh, that then you have some tutorial so now tutorials are nothing but in order to uh, read different documentations of different libraries that you will be using throughout the session so for that so uh, now when you go a little down you can see this part where you can see uh, different tabs like uh, files so where all the files related to my system so in my system i have a folder where i have all this things created and then plots whatever plots you generate so that is basically used here then packages now packages are uh, basically uh, used to like different methods that you want to use for your analysis purposes so those things are inherited from this packages so these are the list of packages uh, that is already there so i have a couple of uh, packages that is already listed if you want to uh, install a new package you can go here and here you can type something say for example like zeringen zeringen extra now these are different libraries in r which is used to create presentations like presentation slides how we have in powerpoint similar thing you can do in r so zeringen is that package used for creating presentation slides 
like there are n different packages uh, like you have tidy tidy verse tidy cat and different things so you can do in this way or there is another way that you can do uh, that you can write install dot packages and like say if you want to use like tidy you can write here and then just install it so it's as simple as that and later time uh, if you are opening some r studio and if you are experiencing some of the issues like uh, if your package conflicts with some other packages that is already previously installed you may need to check the version that that package is running on so now this update is basically uh, gives you what your current installed uh, package version is and what the latest available version it has so for all the packages that i have in this uh, setup uh, it gives me this particular table where i have the installed and available packages so if i wish to update all of them i can do it all at once like select all and just install updates and if i want to just select a few of them and just install i can do that as well just by selective updating so it's as simple as that yeah so well that is uh, all about this introductory session so hope you enjoyed this and in the further videos we'll see how we can generate plots write some more codes and what different things are there that makes it different from python so that's all and thank you so much for your attention